the National Journal about a month ago reported yeah. that for uh, you know almost a year since last summer, uh, AHIP has been secretly funding you know, about twenty million dollars to anti-health reform ads. Um, you know, given that, besides the Chamber of Commerce and Newt Gingrich's group, are there any other anti-health reform groups that you're funding? We are. From, we have an ad, our own ad right now, up right now on healthcare costs. Yeah. Uh, and you know, we've been supporting healthcare reform since the beginning of this debate. But you've been funding attack ads as well. Well, our several a group of our members um, were asked by a coalition of employer groups who've raised concerns about costs and other aspects of the legislation to contribute right. to uh, their campaign. Uh, and, some, and some of our members, have, of course, agreed to. These are their customers. Uh, but our industry strongly supports health care reform and has put out uh, and has proposed, to, as Karen mentioned, to completely change how... No, but it's not, it's not just your individual members. You know, AHIP funds Newt Gingrich's group as well, directly. And he's against health reform. He said, let's kill the bill. Um, that's kind of contradicting the public statements that you guys support reform. I, I just don't understand why you would fund an attack group if you're really on board. I think there's, I think there's broad agreement from stakeholders across the board that we need health care reform. But I think there's also broad agreement from people that we need health care reform that's actually going to work and health care reform that's actually going to bring down health care costs. This legislation doesn't do that. Right. Uh, and that's what the American people said they want to see out of health care reform. No, but it seems like there's, there's two campaigns going on. There's one, the public campaign, where you're saying, oh, we're on board, support reform, we're here to play, contribute, you know, Karen's line that she's repeating. Well, but for over, over a year today in this press conference right. that but the this, current bills but the, don't bring down health care costs. But at the same time, you're funding ads that are saying, you know, crushing new taxes, crushing mandates on employers, crushing mandates We've on sent individuals. We've several press releases out saying that the, the current taxes and the legislation are going to make health care coverage unaffordable for families and small businesses across the country. Right. You know, we've been consistent throughout this debate that the current bill does not reduce cost and that it includes provisions that are going to increase the cost of health care coverage. But in the spirit of transparency, you know, did, we didn't find out about these uh, $20 million you guys gave to the chamber to run these attack ads until, you know, a month ago, and these things have been going on for a year. So I'm just asking, are there any other groups other than the Chamber of Commerce that you're funding, other than Newt Gingrich and the Chamber of Commerce that are attacking health reform, that premium dollars are going to? No. Okay, those are the only two groups. Well, I don't agree with your premise that we're, you know, funding groups that, uh, you know, are, are trying to, um, you know, that aren't that aren't tr trying to make a healthcare system that's going to work and that's going to bring down costs. Well, you, you, know, you, our, you are funding those, those ads, so they, they weren't specifically to those ads. What's, yeah, but again, the focus, and if you listen to what everybody's saying across the board, uh -huh. is that we need healthcare reform that's going to work and healthcare reform that's going to bring down costs. And everything that we've done throughout this debate has been focused on what can we do to advance healthcare reform that's going to work for the American people, it's going to get people covered, and it's going to bring costs down.